Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to walk you through an a human case involving Marvin Webster, an 18-year-old male college student who presents with fatigue and cough. I already handled this case, so I'll be sharing how I did it. Usually, the first step in handling any a human case is taking a patient's history, which is how I started Marvin Webster's case. Unlike the previous videos in a practice case, this assignment was like the complete case of uh, Marvin Webster. So it covered a lot of questions about the patient's health history. For example, it involved questions on the patient's review of system, which were not covered in the practice case. I also asked as, asked as many questions as necessary to determine the right diagnosis for the patient's symptoms <laughs> fatigue and cough, which were also the reason for encounter. In the second part, the EHR, I used the answers from the patient to fill the, EH, the EHR sections, including history of present illness, review of systems, past medical history, social history, and family history. Like shown in the video, the review of systems of the EHR is filled with answers drawn from the patient's response to the review, review of system in the history questions. After EHR, I moved to the history notes, which is filled using patient responses to the questions asked when collecting history data. This history section has a set of instructions that one has to follow when filling the chart. One of the instructions require that one starts, one starts with the patient's reason for encounter. The rest of the chart is filled using the other symptoms associated with the patient's health. In this case, the patient stated that he also has sore throat and headache. So the history note chart should be filled using four symptoms, as I've listed uh, in this chart. They include fatigue, cough, sore throat, and headache. Now for under each of the symptoms, you're supposed you are supposed to follow the old old cards formula, which includes the onset, location, duration, characteristics, aggravating, relieving, timing, and severity. Now, as you can see, I included all the parts as required and as stated by the patient in his responses to the history questions. Yes. <clears throat> After that part, I moved to the third part and the last part of history section, which deals with key findings, where you are supposed to List down the observation that were used to assess the patient's health to determine differential diagnosis and the right diagnosis. This, in this case, the patient, I listed about four key findings, after which you can see the scores for this section shows that I missed a few, about four questions on this part. Now, once you're done with the history, you always uh, can check the score, which means uh, I scored most of them, but I missed about four. One of the, the best score should be 100, but when you missed a few, you don't get the full marks. Now, after the scores, 
enter this cause which is given by the system once you're done with this part you move to the next part which is physical exam now the next activity in any human case is the physical exam where one has to conduct a set of tests to assess the patient's health like the history section the findings from the test are recorded in the EHR now some of the tests that I carried as you can see the video is a bit sped up but as you can see they ranged from ears eyes nose and other parts of the body then once you're done with the test you move to the EHR the requirements of the EHR are shown in the video for the physical exam include general neck cardiovascular respiratory abdomen rectal musculoskeletal neurologic skin lymphatic and psychiatric now as you can see <coughs> the answers are to <coughs> of the data to be filled in each of this section is drawn from the the actual exam that you carry on the patient so i think the video showed that i was moving between the test carrying the test and also reviewing the EH, ehr section which also has some data that is supposed to use to carry the test for example the blood pressure the vitals of the patient including the blood pressure pulse respiration and temperature now at this uh, point i'm carrying out the blood pressure for this patient and uh, okay the data keyed in there is uh, is drawn from the ehr notes yeah the other text that also carried include the lymph no lymph notes where i pulp I, I had to palpate all, all lymph nodes. I also inspected the skin. I also inspected the neck. I also in also palpated the neck. Yes, I also osculated the heart. And once you're done with the, the actual exam, which includes escalate, moving, escalating all the six parts, then uh, you interpret the, the outcome of, of each test. Then you also you also required to escalate the lungs. Yes, which involves escalating all the four points for each lung so a total of eight points four points for the left lung and other four points for the right lung and then once you're done with that you interpret the results and so as for this case the left lung is normal the right lung is also normal i oscillated the abdomen which involves uh, the four parts of the upper of the lower abdomen two for the right and two for the left once you're done with all the four parts you also have to interpret your findings and then other than escalating the abdomen I also pal palpated and percussed uh, the abdomen. So once you're done with the uh, with the exams, you move to the EHR where you're supposed to key in your findings from some of the notes already given in the EHR, and basically and primarily the findings from the test. Yes, and all the video shows had to move between the test and um, between the actual test or the actual physical exam 
and the AHR where I'm supposed to key in the findings. So if I didn't remember, I didn't quite remember the, the actual findings that I found when cutting out the, uh, the, the exam, I had to return the, to the case and get the right information to key in, in each of these boxes. For the abdomen, for the rectal, for the skin, for the lymphatic, for the psychiatric, for the neurologic, for the musculoskeletal, uh, for the abdomen, for the respiratory, for the cardiovascular, yes, and uh, lastly for the psychiatric, which is the last requirement for EHR physical EHR for the physical exam. So, after uh, checking out with that one, I cut out, I listed the last one, and then once all the all the sections are filled up i proceeded to the next um, part but before that you have to check the, the scores for physical exam which are given by the system so when that section is done and you have checked uh, everything then you move to the next part which uh, uh, which is the exercise so in this case uh, I was required to give uh, this case unlike the practice case required uh, seven symptoms and I managed to find to find six correct but I missed one so as you can see it was marked the, the, the red X means that I missed one so after that you move to the next section which is the assessment usually the assessment section of any human case has five to seven parts all of which were covered in this case the first five requirements for the assessment section included organizing the key findings writing a statement a problem statement selecting differential diagnosis ranking differential diagnosis and selecting the right test so once i listed all the key findings and organized them i then uh, proceeded to the next section which is writing the problem statement for this patient again this information is, is adapted Reflected from the patient's response to the history questions. So I drafted my problem statement and there are some instructions that you're supposed to follow in handling this part. For example, um, you are required to give a maximum of 150 words. For this section yes as you can see once you're done with that you move to the next part which is selecting differential diagnosis I managed to select three for this case as you can see every each of them was correct then you rank them and then you move to the next part which is selecting the test again for this case I selected three tests and then once you're done with that, you just test to test result to to identify the right diagnosis for the patient. Now in this case, the right di diagnosis was influenza, meaning this patient has influenza. Influenza. And then you can go through the diagnosis feedback, which agrees with my choice. And then once you're done with the once you have gone through that feedback and uh, certain that you've given the right the right uh, response they also as you can see this uh, the the feedback state that you are supposed to review there's a link for influenza meaning you're supposed to acquire more information about uh, this diagnosis for this patient 
So just for general knowledge and me also find some information that you can use to draft the next part of this uh, exercise which is the treatment plan. So usually the treatment plan is detailed. So getting as much information about the diagnosis is actually a good idea and the right move to drawing the right plan because the plan should uh, for example uh, should have a pharmacological care yes you also need uh, patient education you need referrals and you need a follow-up plan any other any other information that can help this patient recover so as you can see uh, after after selecting the right diagnosis for the, for the patient i have to review assessment to just to check if my with if my differentials and actually matches the right the, the diagnosis that i've ended up with and from these differentials you can also find the right information that uh, can help you draw up a plan also it is also important to review your differentials because um, uh, in some cases you are required to give the icd10 codes for <coughs> icd10 code for each of these uh, differentials so in this case i had uh, three differential diagnoses and as you can see, there are three which include COVID-19, influenza, and viral upper respiratory infection or URI. So this information, going through each of these differential can actually help you or guide you on how to go about this case or how to find the right ICD-10 codes for each of these diagnoses. Yes, so once I was done with that, then you move to the plan, which has to include the part that I mentioned. And then once you're done with that, you're practically done with the case. And as you can see, this was my score. These are the cases there that was my score.